Pippin, you got a problem, bud. We have too many Switch games to play. Yeah, I don't have enough time to play them. I guess it's a good problem to have. Maybe we should uh, go ahead and work through some of that. Hey guys, welcome to another episode. So the backlog is a growing, and uh, I'm not gonna have enough time to make a specific video for every game that keeps coming out. So I decided to kind of mesh some stuff together, um, especially so this will give me time to do uh, to be able to review some bigger games that um, I haven't really had time to look at with you guys yet. But so today we're actually gonna be talking about a few things. Uh, we're gonna be talking about the Disney collection that uh, just came out recently, and this is pretty awesome. Um, I'm also, uh, you know, usually I do, you know, even if it's something silly like just a game, I, I usually do an unboxing, and sorry to say, I already opened up, uh, <laughs> this one. Um, wasn't anything inside, surprise, surprise. But, uh, that being said, I also just got imported in the Dragon Quest set, so I am gonna be opening that one. Uh, we'll be opening that one together. Maybe we'll get lucky and there's something in there, but who knows. Um... Other than that, uh, I've actually had two indie companies reach out to me and send me some uh, codes. So I'm not being like sponsored or anything. I'm not that that big yet, but um, they did send me the the review codes to check out these games for free. Um, and uh, <laughs> one of them uh, really surprised me. So we're gonna check out all this stuff together uh, today, guys. And uh, let's go ahead and just uh, jump right into opening this guy up. So you guys know how we like to do by now. First things first, safety first. Got our little blade here. So I actually I imported this uh, from Play Asia. So um, you know I always like to see what they are going to include with these because you kind of never know. Could get lucky, get a book in there. Harken back to the old days of manuals and what have you. That plastic off. See, it has the box art. It's all in, uh, of course, Japanese. Um, but this game is actually multi-language, so it is import friendly. And nothing. Big ol' zip. But uh, that aside, let's pop it in and uh, you know, see how it plays. So the first thing that's kind of kind of crazy about this, you put in the cartridge, and all three games uh, pop up as their own separate game. Uh, kind of cool. So, I mean, hey, this is the first time I've even popped it in. So let's uh, jump into one. See how it do. If you're a Dragon Quest fan, you know what's going on right now. So these are all supposed to be the, um, these are all supposed to be the iOS port, I was told. So I hear because of that, a little good, a little bad. Yeah, look at the graphics. Jump into it a little bit so we can fast forward. So the graphics are a little, a little strange. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but let's just jump into a battle. Music is excellent. It kind of reminds me of when they did the f the Final Fantasies on Apple products, the iOS versions. So now this is kind of strange. Kind of looks like it's done in paint. <laughs> well, 
until I win. Boom. Unforgiving. The hero is defeated. <laughs> On to round two. So I noticed this about the first game. I guess it's just the style they made it for mobile. It's like everything is pixel art except for the characters. I mean, I guess it's pixel art, but they just look way too smooth. It's really... Clashes to me. Let's go round two. Dragon Quest Boogaloo. I cannot quite get behind these graphics, I don't think. I really wish they had ported over the uh, ones from Game Boy Color. If you guys played the ones in Game Boy Color, uh, let me know what you thought about those in comparison to this. I'm not saying this is, like, really, really bad, but, uh, just preference is definitely that, because this is, uh, really weird. Dragon Quest fashion. Well, I won the fight. Victory's a victory. Round two goes to me. Inch of off. Yeah, this one looks a little bit better. Ish. And the backgrounds aren't the problem. It's the sprites for the characters. And the, the battle, where it just looks like it's drawn. Well, it seems my capture device stopped capturing uh, when I started playing uh, Dragon Quest III. I've already switched out the game, so I'm too lazy to go back. Uh, basically, same complaints as the other two. I think they should have really thought about putting in the Game Boy Color remakes of all three of these. Uh, that's just me personally. Um, I am going to play through them all the way, only because I haven't played these games since my NES copies. But uh, that's just kind of where I'm sitting. And with that out of the way, without further ado, let's check out the Disney Classics Collection. So, straight up... We have soundtracks. Um, for both of them. Let's see what the museum has. The museum has some pretty cool videos, looks like, making of Aladdin uh, into the studio, game art, and uh, movie art. Ooh, wow. Very, very interesting. That's cool. That's a cool little bonus. So another thing this has, I've already played this a little bit last night, um, has uh, achievements you can unlock for... Uh, hmm. Beat the Aladdin Trade Show demo. Defeat Jafar in Jafar's Palace. Beat the Final Cut version. So they got little achievements in here, which is not usually normal for the Switch, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then the settings, English. And then under games, they have all the different versions. So they have the console S version, the Final Cut version, the demo version, the Japanese version. So, um, it's actually quite funny. You can go through, oh, I didn't realize this, bonus games. They have the handheld version and the Game Boy Color version. That's cool. Um, one of my favorite features, although it messes up the achievements, is uh, going through and you can switch the difficulty. 
you can pick the level, but you can also turn on invulnerability. So you can just like, hey, I want to play the game, but you know, I don't want to stress out. So, uh, yeah, let's just jump into, uh, I don't know, whatever, the um, Japanese version. But the cool thing about this uh, collection that I really like is just how good it looks. Um, I guess everything's kind of, you know, I'm no like technical genius, but everything kind of looks like it's really smooth. I don't know if it's because it's going through the switch or if they changed the processing somehow or whatever. And like I said, I played this quite a bit last night and, uh, you know, one, one thing I noticed that was immediately great was uh, no slowdown. <laughs> Which, you know, can always happen on the older systems. But, uh, you know, if you've, if you've played this game, um, before, then you know that it's, this is one of the best, I mean, Disney, back in the day, made some of the best games, um, around. Which is great. And, uh, and the, the animation was really cool, too. I mean, you have to remember, you know, if, if any of y'all are maybe younger viewers and didn't grow up with games like this. I mean, like, look at Aladdin right here. I mean, the fact that you have this, like, kind of weight animation where he's looking around, uh, when you press up, he actually, I mean, you know, there's, there's a lot of movement to this. You know, and back in, back in the old 90s, you know, that was a big, big deal. It, it's, I mean, you feel like you're playing the movie, which is awesome. So they have the console, uh, inversion. Oh, I just made the connection. Inversion, Nintendo version, S version, Sega version. Console, S version, Sega version, okay. Japanese version. And then what's the bonus game here? The Game Boy. Game Boy Color. Um, oops, didn't mean to do that. So I have actually played the Nintendo version uh, at my friend's house, and just as you would think, we, uh, never got past that friggin' level that everyone talks about. It's thoughts. It's thoughts. I didn't type in invulnerability, uh, invulnerability, so who knows. You just gotta jump on them lizards. The thing that also was tricky about this game, I remember, was the platforming. Like, I remember... Ooh. Come on. Oh, I don't have any yelling power left. Can't scare him. I remember... Um, <laughs> Let's try that again. I remember going for jumps and not being able to make it because of, uh, you know, you think you're, you're on the edge there and you are not. Doesn't this rock right here look like an upside down shoe? I don't know, maybe it's just me. Good. Oh, boss fight! Oh, good. Oh, good. Yeah. So that's Lion King. Uh, if anyone ever told you this game was easy, they lied to you. They were the Lion King. Yeah, anyway, next game. <laughs> so this is the first, um, uh, indie game code I got. It's for a game called Megaquarium. It's actually out on Xbox and Switch. It might be on PS4. I don't know. I don't really pay attention to PS4 much. Um, the thing I'll tell you about this game... Uh, it's cool. It's really neat, but I don't know. Maybe it's just right now. I'm not in the mood for this kind of game um, It's it's basically like a um, Like a it's a it's an aquarium simulator um, kind of like a, it reminds me of like sim zoo or something or like sim city or whatever um, The thing I really do like about this game though just in general and I've actually done this I'm not even lying. I like uh, I've played this game several hours now. I like just kind of Turn it on and listen to the music. Uh, it's just really calming. You can see, um... So here, here's... The visuals are pretty cool, I think. But uh, basically, you make an aquarium. Uh, I've already kind of... I haven't played... You know, I've only played a few hours, so... You make an aquarium. You have to upkeep it so you have, you know, um... 
people, the little employees that go around and feed it from, from the feeding stations, and you have all this stuff to keep the uh, actual tanks running. You make the tanks bigger, you get rocks, new fish. And on the side here, um, you can see where you basically unlock new stuff as you complete little achievements. So, yeah, it looks like I just unlocked an animal, in fact, right there. So, anyway, from that, you go through um, and basically just unlock new fish, new tanks, new stuff, new challenges. Um, you know, you can make your aquarium bigger, you uh, set open and closing hours, you can actually take your employees and move them to certain areas and say, watch this spot. Um, it's pretty cool. Like I said, that being said, I'm just not in the mood right now for this kind of game. Uh, I think it's neat. I think it's a very neat, um, really well done version of it. Um, so if you're into like the whole Sim games, like Sim City, Sim whatever, and you love aquariums, uh, it gets way crazier than this. I've seen some some screenshots in the, um, when they sent me the code, they sent me like a little promo thing. And it gets way, I mean it gets, you know, like a real, like legit <laughs> aquarium. I mean mine's just a little one room thing here. But um, it's a cool game, and I, you know, uh, I kind of just wish I was more in the mood for it right now. But uh, it's really cool. This game here. Reventure. This game is the definition of do not judge a book by its cover. <laughs> I saw the email for this game. Hey, do you want to code? Do you want to check out Reventure? Um, I'm going to start a new, I'm going to start a new file. Uh, this game... <laughs> I saw the graphics. I was like, it's like 8-bit or gosh, even less really. Um, and the thing it boasts is uh, basically uh, hundreds of endings or whatever. Um, this game, I played it last night. It is freaking hilarious. So you start out, you're Tim. Good morning, the king's waiting for you. I mean, come on, it's like Zelda, monster, I don't know, hunter, whatever. Hurry up, bring my daughter back, blah de blah go over here, what's that? Open the box. What button opens the box? There it is. Hey, get a shield. Good job. Good job. So, I'm gonna do exactly what I did the first time I played this. I was like, where do I go from here? Oh, I- sorry. I didn't do it exactly. Behind the king, there's a door. This is where I went the first time. Hey, I can't let you out of there with a weapon. So I was like, alright, I guess I gotta go back to the house. Maybe I forgot something. Who knows? So I go back to the house. I, it took me a while to figure this out, but I jumped over the house. <laughs> go figure. Uh, saw the monster. I'm like, hey, look at that. Can't hurt me. Started climbing this mountain. This is this is the best. The music's pretty good, too, actually. Um, so boom, right? You get the old man. It's dangerous to go alone. So what's that? Boom, you got the sword. Sword of legend. So this... <laughs> I was like, you know what, I wonder. <laughs> Tim was so eager to try his new sword that he couldn't wait for some minion to appear and stab the elder at the, at the other end of the cave. He also stole his wallet. What a moron. <laughs> That's literally one of the 100 endings. <laughs> and the cool thing is, is this part too. So, as a little gallery, I guess we can collect all the endings. And uh, I guess there's like a percentage. But here it says four years later. <laughs> so if you remember, it said year one, day one. Tim spent a long time in prison for that murder, but after being released, he's, con he's considered changing his name in the option menus to <laughs> improve his personal brand. So... <laughs> Game starts again. <laughs> Hit the shield again. <laughs> I'm not gonna play much of this, because uh, I think, I personally think, everyone should get this game. <laughs> I've gotten like five or six of the endings, and they're all rapid fire like that. They're real close, real quick. I'm gonna get you the few endings that I've done, just because it's real fast. So, you know, there's the old man again. Let's not kill him this time. See you later, old man. 
So, jump down here. What's in the chest? Got the shovel. So, originally, I was going to go back to the castle, but I saw that, that dirt thing, so I was like, oh, let me go down here. Boom, lava world. What's going on in lava world? We don't know. No one knows. I don't know what's going on over there. Dig our way down. Kind of Minecraft now, right? Is this where it was? No, I kept going down, I think. No, I did not keep going down. Oh no! Alright, this is new. This is new to me. I haven't been here yet. You've been warned. Guess the sign will forever come with me. But who knows? Let's see what this this ending is. Magnificent piss pixels. Tim closed his eyes and remembered that treacherous signpost as he fell into the bottomless pit. <laughs> Ironically, since there was no bottom or impact, he just starved to death. <laughs> oh my god. So I saw this dragon here. <laughs> Tim's shield blocked the dragon flames, but it was melted and pushed into his face. Turning it into a beautiful but painful mask. The man in the steel mask. This is the best part, though. <laughs> this is what happens afterwards, because, you know, the cycle keeps continuing. So, hey, 88.89% of heroes made it that far. Tim managed to remove the iron mask using brute force. He also removed his eyes. But... <laughs> But learn to feel his environment using his inner key. Let's go defeat evil. So look, it's kind of, kind of hard to see. But those are his eyes hanging out of his sockets. <laughs> oh my god. I freaking love this game so much. Oh man. Um, I am going to stop there for today. Uh... We are going to, uh, yeah, that's where we're going to end today with this. So that, those are the kind of games uh, that I've gotten recently that I, I didn't really have time to make a video for each one. Um, but, you know, there's some cool surprises in there. I really love the features they packed into the, uh, to the Disney collection. I think that makes the games more enjoyable, you know, especially because some of them are very hard. So that uh, invincibility cheat is is great and i love the special features uh those indie games too are really great thanks again for reaching out and uh and, and help, hooking me up with those codes uh, i'm gonna put uh links below um for the uh the companies although both of those games are just on the eShop, so uh, not hard to find um other than that uh yeah i mean this was uh some pretty cool games pretty cool stuff on the switch nowadays i guess that's going to do it again for us today on the channel. Uh, if you like these videos, please hit the like button, uh, ring the bell, subscribe, hang out with us. Um, you know we do videos every week, and I love making them for you, and I love hanging out. So as always, take it easy.